Today I want to discuss the Scanco Warehouse 100 receiving by order application settings and data collection process to help you create an accurate and efficient process to streamline receipt of goods entries. All right, let's get started. The user will touch the receiving icon and then the buy order icon. The most efficient process possible would be to enter the order number, then the bin where the items will be received, then the item and quantity. Repeat the item and quantity entry until all items have been collected. Then press the send button to create the receipt of goods. The send button is the last step in the data collection process. When the user presses the send button, they will receive a confirmation message. Pressing yes will proceed with posting the collected data. Your process may be just that simple. Or you may see a slightly different set of prompts. If the order number prompt is not your first prompt, you will arrive at a batch number prompt where you can scan, key in, or look up a batch number. After collecting the batch number, you may also need to enter a batch comment before you get to the order number prompt. The comment prompt can be left blank if no comment is required. At the order number prompt, you can scan, key in, or look up an order number. If you see orders that are in green text in the lookup, those are orders that are assigned to you. You should process those first. There are three options for the next prompt, bin, item, or type. If the bin prompt is the next prompt, your process dictates you receive all items into one bin. During this efficient data collection process, you can scan, key in, or look up the bin. The next prompt after bin entry could be item or pallet type. If item, you can scan, key in, or look up the item, then enter the quantity and repeat item and quantity until completed. It is possible that the quantity prompt is removed if you have scan each enabled. When scan each is enabled, each entry is equal to a quantity of one. If the next prompt after the order number prompt is the item prompt, you will enter item, bin, quantity then back to item and repeat. This is the most efficient process when you put items away as you receive. For pallet receipts, you can enter the bin, then the pallet information if you receive all pallets into one bin, or enter the bin during the pallet information entry if you put pallets away as you receive them. During the pallet information entry, type entry is the first prompt. You can scan, key in, or look up the type. At the pallet ID prompt, you can scan to create a new pallet ID or scan an existing pallet ID. You can also press the number sign to create the next available pallet ID. You can also key in or look up an existing pallet ID. There is an option to collect a pallet description for new pallet IDs. So you might see that during the data collection process as well. The description prompt can be skipped if no description is required. The item will be collected next, and if you did not enter a bin after the order number, you will be prompted for the bin, which will be the bin where you are putting the pallet away. And finally, the quantity entry. The user training portion of this video is almost over. I just want to repeat one thing. The send button is the last step in the data collection process. When the user presses the send button, they will receive the confirmation message. Pressing yes will proceed with posting the collected data. After sending the collected data, the success message will be displayed where the user can press OK or press the results button to check to see if the collected data has been imported properly. Now we will review the options. Allow receiving activities is required. This option enables the receiving icon. Allow receiving by order is required. This option enables the by order icon. Allow batches. This enables the batch collection prompt. Collect batch description. This enables the batch comment collection prompt. Allow multiple users in an order. When enabled, more than one user can receive the same purchase order at the same time. Allow over receipts. This allows receiving a quantity higher than the quantity ordered. Prompt for unresolved lines. This warns the user if they did not receive all items ordered. Default initial prompt. This can be set to item or pallet. Allow receiving pallets. Must be enabled to allow pallet receiving. Collect pallet description. Can be enabled to collect description for new pallets. 
Select bin before item. Disable if you put items away as you receive, or enable if you receive all items into one bin. Allow miscellaneous items. When enabled, the programming will allow miscellaneous items to be received. Scan each has three options. When no scan each is chosen, the scan each button will not be present on the device. When allow scan each is chosen, the user can turn scan each on and off on the device. When scan each always enabled is chosen, the scan each button on the device will be green and the user cannot disable it. This concludes the Scanco Warehouse Receiving by Order application presentation. Thank you for your time.